Hi everybody. Uh, this is Lori and I just um, completed my first car camping trip. So I wanted to take a little video and show you what I brought along because maybe it'll help you. If you're nervous about doing it, just go ahead and try it. Uh, yeah, I was a little nervous. Would I be comfortable? Would I be warm enough? Because I went to Gulf Shores, Alabama, Ocean Beach um, in the beginning of March. So I camped two places on the way down. And since it's the beginning of March, like Kentucky isn't very warm. So um, I needed to bring along a little heater, but I'll give you a little tour. So join me. So first of all, I road tripped, car camped with my 2008 trusty Toyota 4Runner. Um, I love this vehicle. We got it with low mileage on about a year and a half ago, two years ago, and there's plenty of room in it just for me. So, okay, let's, it's a perfect vehicle for car camping. So let me first of all show you the inside, how I have it set up. And I'm hoping you can see it. So you can see my bed, um, which consists of two foam toppers, which I probably should have added a third one. So you can use any kind of mattress you'd like or an air mattress or whatever. Um, I used a uh, twin sheet set uh, and two twin quilts for the top. So I brought two pillows along. So that's my sleeping arrangement. It's been pretty comfy. I don't know, for some reason I've slept pretty good. So I have these awesome totes <clears throat> that I bought at Camping World. I bought three of them and I've taken two of them along on my trip. So one serves for all my toiletries and then I have a bag that I brought along for showering, put my clothes in, all my stuff. So the thing I like about these totes is they fit perfectly right in my little cubby there. So that's one. So the other side, I just have my book bag with my notebooks and since I'm a travel writer, I'm always reading and writing and all kinds of stuff. So inside the compartments, I have a little tiny rechargeable fan that I used the first couple nights because it was a little warm. So I can't keep that in there and that's where my extension cords went um, until I made my first stop. The flip up storage containers right now holds my coffee, <laughs> but I can keep stuff in there handy, my phone, whatever I need to access at night. So <clears throat> for this trip, I brought along a little ceramic heater that just plugs in because I camped all in places that had electricity. And since I knew it was going to be kind of um, cool out at night, I wanted to make sure I had the option to plug in a good heating source. So let's go around to the side. Oh, the luggage rack, the top racks make a good drying area for your towels. So on this side, I just have my um, carry-on travel suitcase with my clothes, so then I have easy access to my clothes. <clears throat> and, oops, 
Oops, I almost forgot my power source, my power surge with my chargers and plugging in the heater, the extension cord goes to the outside power box. Um, Rick came up with the idea for covering the windows. Since you can see in, my windows are tinted, but you can still see in. So we just bought a couple rolls of this um, clingy vinyl black, and we cut to fit the windows. And then for the side windows, I just cut out poster board and fit them in. But that's what we did for <clears throat> all the windows, as you can see. They're not perfectly cut out, but they actually serve a really good purpose. For the um, privacy curtain, all I did was, I have these handles here. So I took a long bungee cord, bungeed it and just used a sheet over the top works really good i have a basket that's for my vitamins my meds my water for at night lotion anything that i want easily accessible <clears throat> i just got some fairy lights some battery operated ones for at night i have a reading light and my Lucy solar light, which I absolutely love that thing. It's so cool. So it's inflatable, so it um, breaks down to absolutely nothing, just a little disc. <coughs> so when I'm actually at the campsite, I can utilize the front, front seats for storage. So I was just at a travel writing workshop and it was a hosted stay so I got a couple swag bags so I put that up there, um, just some extra snacks, more books and then on the other side that's where I keep my food totes, my food tote and my cooking items when I'm not using them at night and my dirty laundry. So that works out really good. That's a lot of space that you can utilize when you're camping. <clears throat> I'm actually here at the Kentucky Horse Park campground. Since it's the beginning of March, there's nobody here. So it's kind of nice. It's really I carry my foldable table along with me because you never know what shape a picnic table is going to be in. Um, I did bring along my Easy Up screen tent. It's Aldi's version of the clam. Um, I used it the first couple days I car camped because it was rainy out, but I haven't used it. It's sunny and it's since it's cold. I'd rather just um, sit out in the sun. So I have a foldable chair. Always take an extra chair along. So my kitchen items, I have this one burner propane stove that works really good. It's compact. It comes in its own case. It really works perfect. I can heat water. I just brought one kettle along so I can heat water. I make soup. I can just about cook anything except for, you know, I don't have a fry pan along, so no eggs and bacon and stuff for breakfast, but that's okay. So I said about the totes. So here's my other happy camper tote. And that I have full with my food. That works pretty good. They're nice and deep, so you can stuff a lot of food in there. Um, always have plenty of water along. I bought myself a little cooler. Although, honestly, I'm not real crazy about it. It was cheap. 
and I sun the way down went out really fast. It's cold enough that it's fine now, but um, I should get something small that the ice will last longer. And, <clears throat> and I just have this Rubbermaid tote. It's low profile, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. So I have a collapsible bucket in here, um, paper towels, my utensils. Usually I use um, utensils that are washable, but in this case I had so many plastic utensils at home that I thought I'd bring them and use them up. Um, paper bowls, some small paper plates, knives, hot pads, <coughs> extra plastic bags, garbage bags, laundry detergent for washing dishes, aluminum foil, and can opener. So actually that's about all I have along with me and I've really been able to function quite nicely for coffee in the morning. This is kind of dirty now, but I have uh, one of these things just filters the coffee right into your bowl or into your cup bowl. Um, and that works pretty good actually. So I got to clean it out from this morning's coffee. So actually, um, it's a pretty good setup, to tell you the truth. I'm pretty happy with it. So hey, tell me what you think in the comments below. Um, if you have anything to add, I'm pretty bare bones with this, but that's okay because <coughs> you don't want to take a lot of stuff along when you're car camping just want to be able to pack up easily. Um, on this trip I had already made reservations at campgrounds because like I said I wanted power with it being cold out. So I just <coughs> decided how far I wanted to drive one day and I made reservations in the place that um, I, w I had decided to stop. So all in all, it actually was a pretty good trip. And the only thing that I would say I would change is probably put on in another foam topper or a memory foam topper for my bed. But I have to say that I really slept good. So it really wasn't that much of a problem. But <clears throat> the thing I liked about the car camping was you could just pack up and go easily. Um, five ten minutes in the morning load all your stuff and you can be on the road so car camping is really great a great way to get around and see the country so i hope you enjoyed this video give a like thumbs up <coughs> leave a comment below and i'll see you in the next one bye